Uh, hey everybody, welcome back to another Let's Play episode of Let's Play Nightmare House 2. Uh, we're going after Dr. Romero now because he's the one that's been doing all this stuff and we're mad! So let's go down this elevator. It's pretty loud actually. I'm turning it down. Is that better? I heard every word that man said. I am not a murderer. Yeah, whatever. I have never intentionally killed anyone and I don't plan on starting tonight. Therefore, I want to give you the chance to decide. In just a moment, this elevator is going to stop on the main level, directly next to the main entrance to the hospital. If you want to spare yourself, just leave me in this hospital alone. If you're bound and determined to find and kill me, though, just keep heading down the elevator. I won't stop you from coming. Just be warned, I will be forced to defend myself. Yeah, you will, because I'm coming down with shotguns. So this mod actually offers multiple choice endings, so if I wanted to, I could walk out the hospital door, but that's not ballsy. We're gonna fight him. That's right, we're coming for you, Dr. Romero. No stop us now, holy cow, it's getting fast. This area is restricted to senior level staff only. If you do not have the proper authorization, please leave the room. I don't have proper off- Creepy. Oh, goodness. Dr. Romero, I've come to shoot you in the... I'm a good marksman. Alright, so basically, if you wanted to, you could read, pause through the, all these notes, because there is actually some pretty cool information in here about Dr. Romero and what he's been up to. He basically... he. It, uh Oh crap. One second. I'm gonna pause this. One sec. Alright, hopefully he won't talk anymore. Alright. So basically he offers a lot of information. He's building the reason that he messes with your mind is he's messing with something called I mean he's made a device called the core. Um, and it messes with your head, and it totally... There's the core! That is the machine that has caused you to hallucinate or whatever the freaking heck. He's in there! He's not coming out. Whoa. Lag, sorry. Sorry for the herp derping, one second. I just want to do this. See if it works. Ugh! Sorry, people. I'm getting a whole bunch of people that are recording. I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about today. Let's just kill Romero. Let's go. Eh. I hope I'll be able to knock this out in one episode. Knowing me, though, it probably won't happen. Ammo! These wooden planks are like a little tutorial for that thing. In order to actually break the machine, you have to break the wooden planks. But we can't right now. Thank you, game mechanics. Woo! That's the core. Wiener. This is the core. I've worked on it for my entire life. Beautiful, isn't it? Nope. Every ideological civilization in the history of the world has tried to control the human mind. After a few more modifications, I will have succeeded in less than one lifetime. Right now, I can't really control your brain, but I can't play around with it. For example, oh, here we got some friends for you. Not uh, really. Piranha poppers. Yes, and they can hurt you. Yep. If the mind makes it real, uh, then it's real. Matrix type stuff. Die, piranha poppers. You have no future. I have a future. Like breaking this huge crab zombie thing. It's not even a zombie. Ammo! Hey, hey, hey! Don't touch that. It's mine. Yeah, well, these guns are mine, and that glass window is about to break. You're welcome to keep trying. Wow. He's just afraid someone's gonna come along, shoot at his face, and he'll die. 
When you mess around with human brains, you better be prepared for someone to throw a 357 Magnum bullet right in your face. Get away! And again, you guys have no future, I do. What's your problem? With science, of course. <laughs> okay. When can I break this? Oh. I'm an idiot. Turn the crank. Old time style. What the hell are you doing? Your mom. Whoa, Whoa piranha poppers. Sorry for the lagginess, people. This is a pretty strenuous part in the game. Alright, I actually wasn't planning on using the pulse emitters, but you're leaving me no choice. Joy. What pulse emitters? <laughs> Great, let's break. Okay, the whole thing, in order to break this, you have to. In order to mess with the machine, break these wooden planks, and this thing will charge and pulse when you. Run when I do. Whoa! Okay, when it's getting ready to pulse, run. Stop hitting me! Yeesh! The nerve of some people, seriously, can I just get in there for a second without you pulling out the pulse poppers on me? Ow! Can't do anything here without taking 50 health points of damage. And your point? I'm not gonna let you keep doing that. Try to send you somewhere else. In your own head. Bon voyage. I'd love to leave this place, actually. Never mind, I kinda wanna go back now. Whoa. She just owned the prana poppers. Thanks, Emily. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Oh, that can't be. She can't be here. Emily, Emily the wife you can't that you imagine what will happen if this whole thing falls. Uh, I can't imagine, and it's gonna happen because you're a freaking moron messing with people's brains. This is what you get. You and your piranha poppers are gonna go to the lowest circle of Hades, or I don't know, some weird thing like that. <laughs> oh, shut up. Oh, 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 Dang it. I need health. So basically, the end of this game... I mean, no, not the end of this game. Uh, once you get to the point with the SWAT, this game basically becomes an action game as opposed to horror. It's not really... Yes! We took it. We almost took out the second leg, that one. We're gonna take out this one. Yeah! Emily, the wife you betrayed, I'll shoot you again. Well, good night. Night! Alright, I want to go back again already. Gosh dang it. Ugh! I hate the world. Hey. Finally, a door actually works for me. And, great, now it's just a long hallway. What a tease! All the doorways disappear, and then the only door that does open has a long, pointless hallway with blood and mannequins popping up at random intervals. Emily. Oh. oh, good heavens. Enough! I'm gonna. Never mind. Wow, now I have to walk all the freaking way back. And again, what a tease. I've had enough with this. This place is stupid. Can I go back now? Emily better save me. Oh my gosh. Enough with the doors. <laughs> I'm either really fat or Romero just doesn't like me. No. No, this can't be. Yeah, we'll prepare for some crazy stuff. Alright, well, this is. Don't get it, dude. You think you crashed your car in front of our house by accident? Yes. You ended up here? I did! Coincidence. She's using you. You're just a pawn in her game. Well, then what the heck are you? Alright, well, this is as good a time to stop it as any. 
next time on Nightmare on Let's Play Nightmare House 2, I finish up the game and kill Dr. Romero, hopefully. I'm not a bad person. Yes, you are. <laughs>